That's this, uh, this little trail here. It's a game trail behind my uh, house. There's my driveway. Yeah, I came down here. You can see all here. There's some uh, tracks. And uh, automatically, I can already tell that those are rabbit pelts because, uh, let's see, where's a good track? Right there. So you can turn it sideways. You can see you got your two feet there. The two back feet, and then you can see behind it on the smaller part here, that's their back feet. And since rabbits are gallopers, which means they put their back feet forward, and when they run, they look like gallopers, like a horse. You can see that these are, uh, these are, uh, somewhat recent. I mean, it's probably from yesterday, maybe two days ago. There hadn't any snow in a while, so. But, you can see, these are rabbit tracks, and the game trail continues on, so we shall continue following it. Alright guys, here's some, uh, small tracks. I'm not even sure if, yeah, I can't, though. I can barely see these. Uh, here's the main trail, and what these tracks do is they start, I don't know, they start right there out of that hole and they come down which the wind's been blown on and they come they came up around to that tree down around over to this bed of trees and then they keep going across so I'm gonna see I'm guessing this is um I'm gonna take a guess and say some sort of Chipmunk, because we don't have very many squirrels up here. I mean, this guy's been everywhere. Look at that. All here. What he's got. Nice little burrow down there. And whatever he is, he must not be too heavy, because he's floating on this. Look at me, I'm, I'm sinking. I forgot to bring my snowshoes with me today. But, there's a lot of game out here. Ain't that right, Ginge? As we can hear, Emma's off chasing. Um, I'm also here for the, uh, the book, uh, Bushcraft International, the so Sognivs Challenge. Uh, I'm out here if you listen. No cars. Can't see any cars. I would hope not. That'd be a little odd. Nothing. Just Emma. A bird. So. We, uh. I'm out here in the woods. I know if I keep going that way, my shelter is about half a mile off that way. I know if I go that way, I'm going to hit the road in a little while. I know if I go that way, I'm going to hit some familiar territory. I know if I go past my shelter and keep going down, I'm going to hit some more territory. So I'll try and keep you posted on these uh, tracks I've been seeing. I've been seeing uh, rabbit trails left and right. That's probably what Emma's chasing. All right, wind's picking up. I'll uh, turn the camera off. All right, we finally got some uh, rubbings. So, got some here. Pretty much goes around here. So, there's no recent tracks here. So these weren't made recently, but that shows some sign of big game. Uh, there's the rock I climbed up. Uh, I was there when I last posted. I came around the side and around here, and right in there. See if you can see it or not. You can see that kind of like splotch. In between the, uh, the those two trees, that's uh, an old uh, can of motor oil. There's a lot of it there. So this used to be an old trail. I'm guessing snowmobiles. It's a shame they left it there, but you know, it's old. It's decaying, you know. So I can see there's a pathway up there. 
which I know will eventually lead back to my road. And I'm going to choose to go this way because if you look over here, more rubbings, more rubbings. So, I'm going to check this area out and then I'm probably going to head back. Alright guys, I'm here at an edge. For those of you who don't know what an edge is, it's where one type of forest meets another type of forest. This forest was mainly uh, a maple conifer. This one is mainly a birch conifer. You can see there's a lo lot more birches in here. Birch, birch, birch. See a lot of them. And uh, Ginger's off over there exploring. But there's the rock. That's where it was. I came down and around. Uh, this actually looks like a large game trail down here. Um, this looks like an old clearing. My best guess is that this is an old snowmobile trail. That's where I usually go in to get to my uh, my shelter. And then I'll come down and around and I'll go in. And it's somewhere over there. So, uh, it's getting a little late. I gotta walk back. So, maybe I'll come out here pretty soon with some snowshoes. Forgot to bring my snowshoes. What is that? Yeah, I forgot to bring my snowshoes, so I'll grab them next time. Can't tell if that's something or if it's ginge. I think it's ginge. Yeah, it's ginge. Toot -toot -loo. Old red. This snow is ridiculous. Come on, Ginge! Come on. Come on, you can do it! Climb. Come on. Come on. Looks like she's stuck. Look at this snow, it's ridiculous. It's going up past my knees at some point. Also, one thing I did see when I was out here, saw a lot of straight young saplings. Looked like good arrow making. So, I'm gonna maybe I'll come back out here in the spring. It's actually a really nice spot. I haven't been out here. Uh, I've been down there. There's a little patch down there, and that's a shortcut to my uh, shelter. But I've never been this far out, so it's pretty cool. All right, that's my uh, challenge, and uh, just. Uh, some basic tracking observations here, and uh, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the woods.